Hey guys, VTech here, Blueberry Hills. So here I'm uh, trying to finish up the last cuts on the uh, containers. We've got all the walls out. This is the upper section, the game room. Uh, and I'm uh, working on the floor to pull it up so I can cut it out and uh, put the stairs right there. Uh, it's roughly a 12 foot by almost 4 foot area that's going to get cut out. It's not quite 4 feet wide because there's a main support that I'm not going to mess with uh, right at the end of that uh, panel that you see. I'll show you that later. But anyway, just pulling up the panel was fun. Uh, not one screw came out, so I had to resort to my uh, what I'm doing right there with the hole saw. And uh, you basically start it with your foot and then kind of go around the screw and it makes a hole. And then you can pull it up and everything's good. But uh, I only got one screw out the norm normal way, and the rest I had to cut out. So luckily the, the plywood I'm pulling up, it's, it's basically half of the, the container. So the outside dimension is 8 feet, inside is something like 7 feet uh, 10 inches or 8 inches. The wall's about 2 inches uh, wide. Um, so it's whatever that measurement is left. <laughs> um, anyway, these get thrown out. and. Uh, there's one section I'm going to have to use a plasma cutter on. Um, at the end of all the containers, there's a big, kind of like a metal platform in the middle. Um, and I think it probably serves some kind of purpose. No idea what. They might slide it around on something at the dock or whatever. You know, it was uh, fun pulling this plywood up. Um, it took a lot longer because I had to use the hole saw. Here you see me uh, cutting near the end of the, uh, the run that I have to use for the stairs. And right in front of my, well, right by the camera, you see the metal, metal plate. Um, here I'm using one of those corner saws, work great, uh, to cut through all the entire plywood and then I uh, try to yank it up and uh, still have to cut a bit more. So it was a, uh, I was hoping to break it out but I had to keep cutting and hose on. So a little more cutting with the, the corner saw and then a uh, piece of wood came out. I guess I didn't cut all the way through because I didn't want to hit any metal down there, which there was none anyway, but whatever. <laughs> I didn't adjust the saw properly. Uh, here I am cutting the, uh, the main supports underneath the container out. These are going to obviously have some kind of a header. Uh, it's probably going to be a U-channel um, that runs parallel to the wall uh, since all these supports get cut out and that's of course for the stairway so again 12 feet by roughly 4 feet wide we're doing this uh, wide as a stairway as we can because it's quite comfortable with to go up wider staircases and uh, we're going to try to keep the wall natural on this section here just to give you the extra width now these cuts are pretty easy I uh, just follow it around it's just a straight U, U channel um, these all get thrown away or recycled we'll take them to the recycler and then uh, behind me there's a metal plate I was talking about that's got some internal structure and a very solid uh, cross piece. Not just a U-channel, it's a big old honking thing. Um, you'll see me cutting through that in a little bit.
So I have uh, most of the, the stuff cut through on the metal plate. Um, this section here, right underneath where I'm cutting, is a big, uh, pretty thick support piece that runs between the walls. And I kept missing one little area that I forgot, didn't, didn't see that I didn't cut through. Um, later on you'll see me cut an access panel, uh, shine a flashlight in there and finally find the little metal that's holding it. <laughs> so it doesn't take a whole lot of metal to be solid. So here I'm making the panel and then I can uh, see in there and find what I'm trying to, what I'm supposed to cut. And then it just popped out. So I thought I was cutting everything. I still find another little piece that I missed. Um, and it's hard to see in there because it, it is dark and it's underneath the plate. So anyway, I finally found it, buzzed through it, and then I cut it some more. And then in a few seconds here, you'll see me pop the whole thing out. Here we go, last cut. I lift it up and it pops out. Um, this thing was pretty heavy. I should have maybe cut a few more of the pieces off. I couldn't lift it, I had to drag it. And then uh, I threw it off the roof a few minutes after that. Um, and uh, off it went. And then I'm gonna cut the, uh, you can see the roof on the second container underneath. I'm gonna cut that out. Uh, I changed my plan. I was gonna cut it from the bottom on the, against the wall. I started cutting it and I'm like, yeah, I'm up here. It's a lot safer to stuff not fall on you. So. I decided to cut it along the wall as well, and you'll see that in a few minutes here. So I cut the main the main pieces um, near the center of the container, and then later on I cut on the uh, against the wall, and just let them fall to the floor on the uh, first one. I was trying to be a little wider for the hole because you're not going to see the ceiling underneath or the the bottom of the container or the roof of the container. Um, so I just needed to cut it wide enough so I could put a header, weld it all in for support here for the, uh, the stairway. Um, the next day I didn't videotape but I came back a day later and I cut another inch and a half, two inches off the uh, ceiling so I could easily access the, the floor here. And then uh, we'll, we'll put a beam, uh, actually a C-channel uh, that runs across the, uh, the floor. And uh, of course I'll show you that when I'm doing it. So here I'm still standing on the roof as you can see. Uh, no, I'm not going to fall through. It looks pretty funky. Uh, I'm leaving a couple of pieces still packed in there. And then uh, when I step off of that, then I'll cut them. So, and then in a few minutes, you'll see me cutting against the wall. Um, yeah, I, I had to span that, so I didn't feel too good about standing there. So I used, uh, you'll see me use a ladder to span it and uh, cut all the pieces out. And it's kind of funky using a plasma cutter, right? You can't get around corners all that easily, but uh, it takes, it takes a little back and forth action. Um, the head's, the head's pretty big on that plasma cutter. I don't think I have to make smaller ones, but it works great. It's like cutting through butter. So with my change of plans, I decided to cut um, all the panels through from the top, right? So um, I'm cutting them so they'll fall out. In a few minutes here, you'll see me doing it against the wall. And I, I cut them in like three foot section. So they won't be one big giant panel that falls down. It'll be several smaller ones. And when you have something to push against the, uh, the plasma cutter head, it works really good. So 
Sorry, I'm gonna start cutting the panels out and they're gonna drop to the floor. I cut as close to the wall as I could. Um, you can see there's a straight line at the top of it, but underneath there's still an extra inch, uh, maybe inch and a half of metal sticking away from the side of the wall. And I'll cut that the, ne the next day. Uh, a lot easier on a ladder, doing a straight line right against the wall. So to break the panels loose, I, I use all kinds of things. I use a pry bar, hit it, uh, but it doesn't take too much. The, uh, when you're cutting with plasma, it seems to glue itself back together, uh, go a little bit too quick. Um, so this, the pry bar helps to break it loose. It snaps a lot of the little snotties, but the bigger ones you still have to cut through with the plasma cutter. And uh, I'll go back and hit them a couple times, and then you'll see the panel just disappear. Since this is time lapse, it'll just go away. You want this? Oh, hey, yeah, almost saw the ball. <laughs> Ta da! Safety first, so I got a board I'm kneeling on that's on the, uh, I left one of the supports across the container so um, the ceiling and the floor won't move much. Um, so it's a pretty solid platform I'm on and then in a few minutes you'll see me put a ladder across the back side of it because it's longer. Here comes the ladder, I span it over there, I put a board over it, and I just lay down on it and cut cut the remaining lines against the wall and then the panels just fall down. Easy peasy. Here's kind of a walk through the upper floor. There's really not much to see. Um, the center walls are, of course, cut out. Um, there, I do have a support piece that's holding the uh, roof, uh, kind of from bulging down a little bit. Um, the containers are built different. They some have uh, square tubing on the top roof sections, others don't. Uh, just so having these two on on the second floor do not. They they actually have a uh, half-inch plate, and the walls were structurally keep keeping them from bowing down and, and strong, right? So we're gonna have a, a post probably there or a beam. We're talking about putting three beams up on the, the floor here. Um, they'll be exposed, so we'll make them uh, structural as well as, uh, uh, what do you call it? Fashionable. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So now that we have the stairway cut out, I'm just gonna, one of these ladders is gonna be uh, positioned right there. We'll be able to get up on the second floor as needed, and uh, most of the work is going to be done. Uh, next work, bit of work is uh, going to be 
seaming the uh, containers from the inside. Um, doing an angle iron in the middle. They're going to be uh, welded, of course, together and uh, kind of more dried in. And then uh, later on, we'll be doing the living room floor. We're, we're curing all those beams and metal for that. Anyway, appreciate you watching. We'll talk at you later.